Bonjour! So you may have noticed a few new things. I'm just going to say this beforehand, I've tried to record this video twice now in different places and it doesn't matter where I go, I am this washed out. So I'm just going to kind of pull the camera in a little bit. As you can see, I got my cheeks re-pierced. I had them done once before last year and I got my labret pierced about a week ago by my friend. I did have a cheek piercing video on this channel, but I removed it because I was kind of quiet and awkward and it was unedited. So I thought I'd just redo it and do it better. Also, this time I can talk about scar tissue and re-piercing scar tissue and stuff like that because it's the second time I had them done. So the first time I had my cheeks pierced, I was 16. It seems like a long time ago now. But I had them pierced back then and I had them done for about seven or eight months. And then one day when I went to work, my boss just decided, you know, you're not allowed those in anymore. So I had to take them out. I then had a five hour shift and couldn't get them back in afterwards. So I'd been without them since then. It's been about a year since that now and I've only just had them redone. So I'm going to talk about the first time I had them pierced and the second time I had them pierced. And blah, blah, blah. So the first time I had my cheeks done, like I said, I was 16. I went in, got them done. Obviously, don't ask if it hurts. Obviously, it hurts. Think of how thick your cheeks are. It, qu it quite obviously hurts. Even with all the numbing and everything, it was still quite painful. Uh, I had bars put in that weren't long enough to start with. And... That wasn't the piercer's fault. I have unusually chubby cheeks. Like, my cheeks are quite chubby as they are already, let alone with a brand new hole in them and a lot of swelling. So, I had to go back a few days later because this side, where I'd had it done last time, had gone to the inside of my cheek where the bar had pulled through. I woke up that morning and the skin had started to heal over the bar. It was really terrifying. I like leaped out of bed, ran downstairs. I was like, Mom, they're going to have to cut my face off. My mum was like, right, calm down. We'll just go to the piercing place, you know, whatever. My piercer was like, you know, we're going to have to take this out. It's kind of gross. It looks kind of gross. It's, it's not great. You'll just have to come back and get it redone when it's healed. And I was so excited about having these piercings and so determined to have them. that I was like, no, put like a tongue bar or something in it. Like, I'm not coming back to get this redone. I want it done now. So you put a tongue bar in my cheek and that healed fine afterwards. Like there was no horrific scarring or anything from where the ball had gone, septic or whatever. So that was when I first had it done. Swelling lasted a good couple of weeks. And that sounds like a lot. If any of you have, you know, like lip piercings or just kind of normal facial piercings or whatever, you'll know that the swelling probably lasts like a few days, maybe more. And then the healing takes a lot longer, whereas cheek piercings... It's such a thick part of your face that the swelling takes a lot longer to go down and it takes them a lot longer to heal. So mine took, you know, a good couple of weeks before the swelling went down. A good couple of months before I was able to change the bars to shorter ones just to make sure. I didn't want to change them and then they swell back up or something like that, but yeah. But um, now this time I went back and if any of you have had scar tissue re-pierced, you'll understand how scared I was when I went to get these redone. Scar tissue in a piercing is just where you've had it done before and if you go to get it done again it's gonna hurt a lot worse. So when I went in to get these done you, you can imagine how shitting myself I was. I literally spent the whole day just feeling sorry for myself like mum I'm gonna be in so much pain later. So I went in and even my piercer sat me down and was like you know this is this is really gonna hurt like I feel sorry for you and I was like great. So he done so he numbed the outside and then he squirted the inside of numb in as well. And it's quite bad for me because I suffer really bad anxiety. So already I'm just a little bit like... Uh, I was quite badly shaking and everything. You know, he kept saying to me, you okay? Like, keep breathing. Tell me if you get too hot or flustered or whatever. So he clamped my cheek on this side, on the left side. And um, clamped it. And when the needle went through, I just kind of went... Like, it wasn't as bad as I thought it'd be. It was a bit painful, but you know, it was quick, it was sharp, it was fast. I couldn't really complain. He couldn't have done it any better. And then this cheek didn't go through straight away. You know, he clamped it, held it, and it kind of took an extra push to get it the whole way through. And I was sat there with a needle halfway through my cheek going, oh. Really hurt. Like, this side hurt a lot more than this side. I got these done on Saturday, so that was about three days ago now. Uh, they're still very uncomfortable. They're still very new. You can see my cheeks are really swollen. You can see me attempt to smile. Oh, I look like a chipmunk. 
but yeah so they they were my experiences with my cheeks and i'm just going to kind of give you a bit of advice like you know kind of what happens when you get your cheeks done like i said swelling lasts a good couple of weeks i don't know if that was just my experience i don't know if that was just my experience swelling lasts a while I'd say do not get them unless you're very very dedicated and really want them i mean i really wanted them like it wouldn't matter if someone told me that i'd have had gaping holes in my face for the rest of my life i'd have still got them that's how determined i was i actually watched a video of another girl on youtube who'd had her cheeks done and she took her bars out to show everyone what they looked like when they weren't in she was very upset about it her video was basically telling people not to get their cheeks done like don't do this don't do what i did you will regret it that's not the case. I mean, I ha I've had mine done twice now and I love them the first time and I love them this time. It's just the scarring is quite bad. I know a few people that have said to me, you know, what's it like? Would you advise other people to get them done? And I've had to say, unless you do really, really, really want them and you're going to be dedicated to having them and keeping them for quite a while, my advice would be no. They fucking hurt. They take ages to heal. They leave you with quite bad scarring. Right, I'm just gonna sit here because the lighting's slightly better over here. Where was I? Yeah, unless you're really dedicated and you don't mind a lot of swelling and you don't mind constantly having ice packs on your face, you know, I'd say go for it. If you really want them like I did, do it. But afterwards, I was, well, I was told to start with that I'd be left with permanent dimples for like the rest of my life. When I took my bars out, I did have very deep dimples, very noticeable ones as soon as you saw me. But now, well, obviously not now, but after they'd healed, you know, obviously I was without them for about a year. So within that year, you wouldn't have even been able to tell that I'd had my cheeks pierced afterwards. I had like one tiny bit of a dimple on one side and the other side, like just didn't really do anything. The scarring did last for a while and it took a long time to fade. But um, I was, when I did first take them out, I was quite upset and thought to myself, you're like, you know, what have I done to my face? The scars did go away. They just took a very long time. They took months and months and months. So yeah, just overall, don't get them unless you really want them because they're painful. They're even more painful to get done the second time. They swell for a very long time, for a good couple of weeks. They take months to heal. They weep, which is kind of feels weird and uncomfortable and is a little bit gross when people notice. You can't leave them out and put them back in like you can a lip or a nose piercing or something like that. If you take them out, you will be left with dimples for a very long time, probably not permanently, but months. And I think that's about it. I just wanted to cover like everything just so, cause obviously I, when I wanted mine done, I was really determined, really, really determined. Like I didn't care what anyone said to me, but I did kind of look up videos of girls who'd had theirs done and stuff like that on YouTube and not a lot of them cover it very strongly. So I just thought I'd do this to give a very long overall type thing of them. If anyone knows about cheap piercings, it's me. Had mine for months and I've had them done twice now. So if you have any questions, please ask me. There's nothing I'd want less than for someone to go get something done they'd regret, you know. You know. And obviously I got my elaborate done. If you have any questions about that, just ask me. I have an Ask FM for stuff like that, if you wanna, or if you just wanna leave a comment. Go to ask.fm forward slash poppy made love. Also go to my brand new Facebook where you can follow me, which is facebook.com forward slash it's poppy made love. Follow me on Twitter, twitter.com forward slash poppy made love. Uh, comment rate subscribe do all the usual crap and if you need to speak to me or ask me anything you know how to get hold of me bye